hello everyone welcome to my uh, second video of my physics tutorials uh, at first i would like to apologize for the sound quality of the of my first tutorial so uh, stick with me i hope i will uh, make the quality of my videos better and better day by day so our today's topic is mean life so, uh, that's a part of the radioactive decay law in your intermediate physics book so we know the mean life is the ratio of the total life time of all atoms to the total number of atoms so if there is a radioactive sample that contains n not atoms initially and after t time the number of the intact atom is n uh, we know in that case the atoms decay exponentially uh, that is the that that's why we get this formula uh, that is the number of atoms present at time t is equal to number of atoms initially multiplied by uh, it to the power minus lambda t where lambda is the radioactive decay constant actually uh, we get this formula uh, by integrating uh, this differential formula of radioactive decay uh, twice uh, you know all the calculations uh, involving this so that is our graph uh, telling us uh, about the uh, equation uh, there's uh, we, we all know radioactive uh, radioactivity is a first order reaction that is why uh, it therefore the total number of atoms will be decayed when the time is infinite that means when t goes infinite so that means uh, first order first order reaction uh, never ends so there's the number of atoms n not initially that is when time t equal to zero and that and is the suppose there are two twin brother one of them died at the age of 50 another of them died at the age of 50 years one minute so their total lifetime will be 50 years plus 50 years one minute but one minute is very small compared to 50 years so their total lifetime will be 2 multiplied by 50 okay so we can use this idea here for our reactive material so like this as from the differential formula we see that uh, in the interval of time t and dt i mean t and t plus dt if n dn amount of uh, atoms are decayed so the lifetime of the dn atoms will be dn into t uh, like this as dt is small compared to t so lifetime of all the atoms will be found if we integrate this quantity from 0 to n naught i mean for the total number of atoms that's very understandable and now from this formula if we differentiate the both side we'll get this line and uh, replacing dn by this line we'll be having the total lifetime of all the atoms is that now our variable is t so we have to change the limit so here we see the limit is from 0 to n naught and there we saw that uh, at time t equal to 0 the number of atoms is n naught and time t equal to infinity the number of atoms is 0 so there the limit will be from infinity to 0 because it was from 0 to n naught that's why it will be from infinity to 0 so uh, replacing this we will be having this and uh, I would like to leave this integration as a home assignment for you guys that's uh, pretty straightforward uh, it the result of it will be found out to be 1 by lambda square that will give us the amount n naught by lambda therefore our mean lifetime from the definition is n naught by lambda divided by n naught equal to 1 by lambda so that is our formula that's uh, found in every HSC textbook but the detailed explanation is absent so uh, I have given this today for you guys and if you guys fail to evaluate this integral uh, there is a link in the description description section uh, where you can uh, download the PDF form of the process of evaluation of this integral so thank you till the next time have fun